In the past, I made a ton of videos covering Windows 2 macOS customization. However, recently, after release of iOS 16 and uh, macOS Ventura, few things changed. Some programs and uh, Rainmeter skins got updated. So in this video, I want to show you a brand new tutorial how to customize Windows 11 to look like macOS. In this video, I will go through what I think are the best programs to use for Windows to the macOS customization. And yes, some of the programs I'll show you in this tutorial are paid. However, keep in mind that I will also show you a free alternative. With that said, make sure that you watch till the end for the complete Windows 2 macOS customization. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you will definitely made my day. And make sure that you wipe off the dust. Another one drives a duster. From the like button as well. Of course, you can also buy me a coffee on coffee.com by clicking the link in pinned comment in the comment section or in video description. With all that out of the way, let's begin. First, I'll go through the programs that make huge difference and then I'll go through the customizations which aren't that obvious. So first, I'll address the taskbar. So the program that we are going to use first is called Start All Back. And uh, yes, it is paid. However, you also get the free trial so you can try it for free or you can purchase license key for one computer for $499. And personally, I think it's totally worth it. So if you go here to the first page, you have here this blue button, make sure that you click on it. And here you should get the setup exe file, click on the exe file. And here I recommend to install for everyone. So click on that. And here on the admin prompt, click yes. So installation of this program should restart the file explorer. So please do not freak out. And here we are in the welcome screen of this uh, program. So here I would like to apply the theme called proper 11. And the main difference that this program actually offers is the taskbar customization. So if we go through here, make sure that you have the use enhanced classic taskbar enabled, then we are going to go to the tweak behavior and superpowers uh, tab. And here we are going to select centered task icon we are going to select here segments and here we are going to select just central segment so here we are having a look right now of the Mac OS dock right here at the bottom I think it looks quite slick and uh, if we go here to the advanced options which we can also use custom taskbar coloring and here we can decrease or increase the transparency so here I recommend let's say 20% or if if you want to, you can click on pick taskbar color button and here you can even pick whichever color you like. So this is it. And here I forgot to mention that uh, this program also allows you to enable auto hide of the taskbar. So it will look quite slick. So if we go to the settings right now and go to the personalization, we're going to scroll down to the taskbar and behaviors. And here we are going to select automatically hide the taskbar and it looks like that as you see. So if I maximize the window right now, you should see that there is no visible taskbar. And if I put my mouse on the taskbar, we should see the brand new Mac OS dock or Windows taskbar or whatever you call it. So here we are going to go to the free alternative. So the free alternative to this program is called rounded taskbar, which I won't go through in this video because I already made another separate video for that specific program and make sure that you watch it if you want to know what it actually does. I'll leave a link in video description down below. So with that said, make sure that you have the rain meter installed because we are going to move on to the Jax core or the widgets for our desktop. So here on Jack's original's website, here you will click this beautiful download button and um, here it should start with the jackscoresetup.bat uh, file. Click on the file, click OK. Um, and as you see here, I got a prompt, Windows protected my PC. Click on the more information and click run anyway. 
and uh, this should start the installation of the Jack's Core Rain Meter skin. So after the installation, you should see this welcome screen. And here I'll just click on the skip setup wizard button down below the get started button. And here I recommend that you go to the library section and here you will download two rain meter skins from this developer. So the first one is called modular clocks. And if you click on it, you should see here the green uh, button with the, the arrow and make sure that you click on it to start installing the module clocks uh, rain meter skin so once the installation of the skin is completed make sure that you activate it on the top left make sure that you click on the button and as you see here we have the the skin and then we are going to install the second rain meter skin so make sure that you click on the home button on the top right uh, then you go back to the library tab and make sure that you install module players rain meter skin. So it's the same process as before. So once module players are installed, make sure that you activate the skin as well. And you should see it on the top left. And here we have it, the, the module players and the module clocks and make sure that both of them are active. And uh, here is very important part of this tutorial because we are going to start with the customization of both of these widgets. But first we need to install one simple program that will allow the blur on the desktop on this specific widget to work. So we are going to go to our web browser and we are going to search image M A G I C K and then we're going, going to click on the download uh, tab right here and scroll down till you see the Windows release and make sure that you click on the first version right here click on this one and this should start the download and I'll click on the exe file and uh, install this program so once this program is installed we are going to go ahead and customize our desktop widgets so make sure that we go to the module clocks first then we go to the general click here on the style the last one and then we are going to go to the style options here we are going to select the left one and make sure that we click click here to regenerate blur so we are going to click on that and as we see we have this beautiful clock widget on our desktop so once again we are going to aha go ahead and customize our module players widget so if you have the widget on desktop right click on it and click configure in core then we are going to go ahead into the general once again click on the last one and go to the um, style options so we are going to go to the style options click to regenerate the blur so the widget should look something like that. So right now we are going to align our widget to the center of the desktop. So we can close the jack score for now and right click on the widget. We are going to select the align and then we are going to select horizontally centered. The next skin that we are going to install is the top bar at the top called drop top four. So basically go to the website which for all of these programs, I'll leave a link in video description down below. So here, click here to download the drop top. So I'll click on that and this should start the um, download for the drop top basic version. Click on that one and this should actually start the installation process for the skin. So here we have the welcome screen of the drop top for rain meter skin and click here to continue. And right now we are going to go through the setup process for the drop top four. Here, select your preferred language. Here, I will just pick the English US. And uh, here you have three options. So always show drop top, auto hide or desktop only. I must admit that I do prefer the option desktop only. So I'll click on that. And then here we have the configuration. So I'll click the preferred media player Spotify, click continue. And uh, here we have choose a home button. So here I click the windows. And uh, here I will also choose a size for the drop down bar, which is small. Then I'll click continue. And here we should see a choose a color option, click on the default and then maybe later. Click finish setup. And already here we have the drop top four on the 
top up and running i think it looks just beautiful so if i open up the mozilla firefox and then if i maximize the window we can clearly see that the application actually uses the full screen so right now we are going to go to through some subtle changes and the first one is actually the windows cursor so here i have the github page once again Go to the releases and here you should click on the source.zip file. So click on that, then go to downloads folder, right click on it and make sure that you click extract all. Click extract here and here open the extracted folder and here you have two versions of the of the cursor so sierra and newer or el capitan and before so i like the newer one so i'll click on the sierra and here i must admit that i do prefer the option with no shadow click on that one i'll select the normal size and then if you scroll down a bit here you will see the install file right click on it and make sure that you click on the install click open and uh, then click yes so here the mouse property is actually open so if we go to the scheme select the mac os cursors with no shadow click apply click yes and click ok and i think that the cursor also looks quite beautiful right now so the last thing that is missing right now is actually the mac os wallpaper so if we go to the wallpaper uh, on the wallpapers home and here I will just uh, download the 5k version of this uh, Mac OS Ventura wallpaper and uh, then I'll go to the folder and uh, just set it as the background so set as desktop background and as we see we have the Mac OS Ventura background as well so yeah I think that every single thing looks quite nice in my opinion even the dock even the top bar even the widgets on the desktop however i also have one recommendation if you of course are quite comfortable with paying for it of course so this one is called my dock finder which is available on steam for three euros and 29 cents and uh, personally i would advise if you really want macOS look on your windows so badly that you actually buy this one compared to the start all back so if you want the ultimate macOS look i really recommend my doc finder for that and uh, yeah with that said i think this is the end of the tutorial so thank you so much for watching till the end and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you will definitely made my day and i forgot to mention but every single link used in this video it will be provided in video description down below so you can easily download from there and if you haven't already make sure that you like this video i think we can easily reach 1000 likes on this video and with that said have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace